an AI-generated post for your viewing pleasure. Cutting Edge, the future of image processing with 2D neural fields. In the rapidly evolving world of artificial intelligence, image processing may never be the same again. Research have, have unveiled a groundbreaking 2D neural field model that not only learns where to draw sharp lines, but also adapts on the fly without predefined boundaries. It's like giving images a brain. Say goodbye to blurry edges and hello striking clarity. Before we dive deeper into this fascinating subject, let's take a moment to appreciate why this research is so crucial. We'll explore how it revolutionizes the way we think about images, both in terms of aesthetic quality and practical applications. So stay tuned as we lay the groundwork for our discussion. Imagine scrolling through your social media feed and being captivated by stunning, ultra-clear images that look breathtaking even when magnified multiple times. This isn't just a matter of high resolution. It's about the underlying technology that brings these images to life technology that can intelligently perceive and reconstruct the details we often overlook. Recently, researchers have made significant strides in image representation through a novel approach called discontinuous neural fields, and it's turning heads in the digital imagery community. This new method allows for intricate details to be captured like never before, particularly in areas where traditional methods fall short. By focusing on the sharp transitions in images where colors or textures change suddenly, the research introduces a framework that elevates image processing to new heights. The implications reach far beyond just photography or graphic design. They touch on fields like gaming, virtual reality, and even autonomous systems. Buckle up as we delve into what this means for our visual world and how it might shape future technologies. So what exactly are discontinuous neural fields? To break it down, a neural field is a representation that allows neural networks to encode complex spatial information, such as images, continuously over regions. By making them discontinuous, the researchers account for abrupt changes in an image think of the sharp edges of an artistic drawing or the boundaries between distinct colors. This approach is revolutionary because it can learn to identify where these discontinuities are without needing them spelled out in advance. As we explore this topic, there are a few key terms you'll encounter. The first is denoising, which refers to the process of removing noise or distortion from an image to improve its quality. Then there's super resolution, a technique that enhances the detail and clarity of an image beyond its original resolution. Lastly, chamfer distance is a mathematical tool used to measure the similarity between two shapes or curves important when assessing how accurately the model captures discontinuities against the ground truth. With these concepts in mind, let's delve into the exciting findings of the research. Next, we'll break down the technical contributions of this innovative research. We'll take a closer look at the model's design and how it achieves those impressive performance gains compared to current methodologies. At the heart of this research is the introduction of a aid discontinuous 2D neural field model designed to jointly approximate target images while learning unknown discontinuities. Traditional methods often require predefined lines or edges, limiting their flexibility. This new approach treats mesh edges as potential discontinuities, optimizing them continuously alongside feature vectors and the positions of mesh vertices. What does this mean for image processing? It means the model achieves phenomenal results in key tasks. For instance, it demonstrates over 5 dB improvement in denoising and more than 10 dB in super resolution compared to existing methods like instant peep by diet. By leveraging a smoothness bias, it maintains sharp edges even when zoomed into high levels a significant breakthrough. This capability reflects a broader trend in machine learning where flexibility and adaptive learning lead to superior performance metrics. However, it's essential to consider the computational complexity of this approach. The optimization process described in the research requires multiple epochs and complex sampling strategies, which can be quite intensive. For example, the authors mention accumulating gradients from all interior and edge samples per epoch, scheduling their optimization with 70 epochs of interior fitting and 130 epochs of interior and edge optimization. 
This raises important questions about the practicality of the method for large-scale applications, especially when dealing with high-resolution images or complex datasets. Moreover, the reliance on high learning rates and large step preconditioning to avoid issues like flipped triangles could pose challenges for users with limited access to advanced hardware. While the performance improvements are impressive, the lack of a clear comparison of computational costs relative to existing techniques makes it difficult to assess whether these gains outweigh the potential drawbacks. Now that we better understand the technical aspects, Let's explore how these findings relate to previous research and what they imply for the future of image processing. How does this fit into the wider landscape? Prior studies in image representation often tackled specific tasks like denoising or vectorization separately, potentially overlooking how interconnected these challenges truly are. By bridging gaps between traditional image processing techniques and modern machine learning tools, this study suggests that a unified approach might be more effective. As more industries look to integrate AI for various applications, from game design to virtual reality, this model can create a pathway to better image quality and user experience. However, while the advancements are noteworthy, the paper does not adequately explore the limitations of their method in handling complex real-world images. The evaluation primarily focuses on controlled scenarios, such as denoising diffusion curves and JPEG compressed vector images. This raises concerns about the generalizability of the findings to more complex and varied real-world scenarios. The reliance on synthetic datasets may not accurately reflect the challenges posed by real-world images, and more diverse datasets are needed to validate the method's effectiveness across a broader range of applications. Additionally, while the qualitative evaluations presented in the paper are visually compelling, they lack a comprehensive analysis of the method's performance across different image types and conditions. A more rigorous and quantitative assessment of the method's limitations would strengthen the paper's claims and provide a clearer understanding of its applicability in real-world scenarios. The discontinuous 2D neural fields research illuminates a promising direction for enhancing digital image processing capabilities. By removing the requirement for predefined edges and introducing a flexible optimization process, we've entered a realm where both art and technology can flourish together. With significant advancements in denoising, super-resolution, and boundary preservation, this method not only sets a new benchmark for visual fidelity, but also underscores a yet untapped synergy between neural representations and traditional techniques. However, as we move forward, it's crucial to address the concerns regarding computational efficiency and practical implementation. The advancements are impressive, but without a balanced view of the trade-offs involved, the method's applicability in real-world scenarios could be limited. Embracing these innovations signifies a leap toward richer digital experiences, paving the way for automated creativity in our increasingly visual world. If you're as excited about the future of image processing as we are, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates on groundbreaking technologies like this one. See you next time.